Members of Congress, I have the high privilege and distinct honor of presenting to you the President of the United States. 美國總統拜登發表佢就職以嚟嘅首份國情諮文，抨擊俄羅斯總統普京入侵烏克蘭，並努力推進政府過去一年以嚟試圖推動嘅國內政策。Six days ago, Russia's Vladimir Putin sought to shake the very foundations of the free world, thinking he could make it bend to his menacing ways, but he badly miscalculated. He thought he could roll into Ukraine and the world would roll over. Instead, he met with a wall of strength he never anticipated or imagined. He met the Ukrainian people. Biden, Tuesday, three days ago, in the Congress hearing, announced the invitation of the United States to join the NATO. The Russian fighter jets entered the United States. Since the United States invasion of Ukraine on July 24th, the Biden administration and several other countries announced a series. 針對俄羅斯嘅制裁措施，拜登喺演講中話：普京將會為入侵烏克蘭付出沉重同埋長久嘅代價。佢喺一個鐘頭嘅演講嘅大部分時間都努力說服國會投票資助政府提出嘅多項重大國內政策，包括大幅度提高針對公司同埋富有人士嘅徵税，嚟到幫助資助一項巨額嘅基礎設施法案，同埋多項為民眾減輕經濟負擔嘅措施。國會參議院共和黨人喺拜登仲未有結束演講時，就發表一份聯合聲明，指責佢嘅徵税同埋使用税金嘅措施錯誤同埋輕率。眾議院主管外事嘅首席共和黨人麥考爾喺拜登發表國情諮文前發表聲明，指責佢外交政策嘅失敗出現喺世界舞台中心，美國嘅敵人亦都睇在眼內。路透社同埋民意調查機構蓋洛普上個禮拜聯合進行嘅最新民意調查顯示，拜登嘅民意支持度只有百分之四十三